All right. Boys, oh man. All right, boys and girls, it is the, <laughs> it is my first time revealing the, uh, the uh, what will eventually be a full-on samurai man bun. But anyways, we're back out here once again on the courts. We're about to do, today is gonna be, you know, I was thinking ahead and I was like, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for chest day, to be honest, but today we're doing back day, so we can make something work. I've already got, you know, a couple of things planned out for back day. This one's definitely not gonna be as um, strenuous or arduous as it normally is, just because I don't have the weights, like the he heaviest weights, the dumbbells I have are 50 pounds, but we're gonna try to do something with that. But anyways, it's about, what, 6.40 right now, so we have like an hour and 20 minutes until work starts here on the courts, so let's get to it. All right, it's your boy Tigu back here once again. And if my voice sounds a little bit congested, pardon me, because I just woke up like maybe 15 minutes ago, you know. Anyways, so we're doing here a back thickness workout because, you know, I split my back into two days, thickness and width focused. And so on the thickness day, which is today, there's going to be a lot of pulling motions, uh, kind of horizontal pulls as opposed to vertical pulls, not the pull downs, not the pull ups, that kind of stuff. It's just um, pulling in line with uh, basically how I'm pulling right here. These kind of pulls build that thickness in your back. That's the idea. Um, so yeah, this is just a warm up right here. This wasn't really an exercise. We're warming up with the bands. You can see we're double banded here. We got the orange and the red. Just to warm up the upper back um, because I don't have other things to warm up with at the moment. And so here's the first exercise. It's very I like to call this some ghetto innovation right here, guys. I got those three park benches stacked up one on another. The setup's kind of weird, but this is how I will, how I, um, what is it? How I blah, 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 innovated doing the seal row, you know, where normally you have a, a barbell under, but I don't have a barbell. So just use the two 50 pound dumbbells right there and pulling kind of towards the upper abdomen area to engage the upper back. This is working out the upper back. So, you know, when I was formulating this workout, you know, I'm, ooh, look at the sky. It's really cool being out there at night, honestly. Well, in the morning, I should say, um, where the sky is starting to transition. This is completely random, but you know, just had to throw that in there. Anyways, when I was formulating this workout, I'm thinking I need to hit all the parts that I can normally hit when I'm working out back for thickness, which is upper back, then those lats, and then a little bit of oh, serratus as well, and then a little bit of the uh, the width, the wings, like pull up motions, just at the very end. So here's the second exercise. We're doing the dumbbell rows. This is a normal exercise. However, normally I do like 70 pounds with this. So to add some extra resistance, I'm using the bands, putting that band under my foot and tugging. You can see. At the bottom, the band really doesn't offer much resistance. Look how it's all slacky and loose. But once you get to the top, the band is really pulling against the dumbbell. So you actually get a really good uh, contraction. The bands are just so good for contraction. Look at the sky. Something you don't really get to see out here when you come only during the day. All right, also I'm kind of been pyramiding in my exercises. I'll take a couple of sets at the very top. So for example, right here, I started with just a dumbbell. Then I went the orange band and then I'm now at the red band. And then I did a couple of sets on the red band to end. Um, anyways, guys, just uh, I'm going to be honest right here. I'm a little worried about just the size maintenance, you know, because I've been making pretty good gains in this lean bulk, you know, like I'm looking, pr I'm looking bigger, but also leaner than before, which is crazy. Um, but now I'm kind of worried just because with the lack of um, raw weight, I feel that I might deflate a little bit, you know, lose a little bit of size. All of my definitions still there. Here's the next exercise though. This is kind of, I wanted to get another low row type of exercise. Oops, oh, sorry, I leaned back in my chair. I wanted to get another low row exercise to work out that uh, lower lat. And, you know, normally I would do it on the cable, but because I don't have that. I'm doing it here with this variation. This time I'm keeping my elbow really closely tucked in and trying to activate that lower lat by pulling. All right, hair looking absolutely wild out here. But uh, I gotta say like this is really, it's a little awkward just because like trying to find the movements, you know, and trying to find um, where you can actually feel the movement. This is really distracting. Hang on a second. All right, so I gotta say like this is kind of awkward just because uh, finding the actual movements where you can feel the muscle, you know. I gotta say though, like, 
some of these movements I don't think you'll be able to do unless you have a good idea of mind muscle connection how you to actually use the muscle because like even though some of these exercises look a little strange it's like I can really feel that muscle being activated I'm trying to um, mimic the feeling that I would get with some of the machines in the gym that I don't have access to anymore but actually it feels really good like the, the so all the workouts so far have been a little difficult you know as in I'm actually having to push a little bit I don't think it's as much weight as I normally would be doing in the gym just because of uh, raw what's the word raw equipment but this is pretty good so far it's currently 734 and I'm like halfway done so this is pretty good timing and that's what it's all about guys and girls during this period of uncertainty where we can't use the gym equipment that we're used to we're just trying to stimulate the muscles so that we can hold on to as much as possible right here I'm doing the dumbbell pullovers this is for the serratus trying to get a little bit of fingerling action on the side you can kind of see it a little bit under my armpit right there on the left side you can see a little bit of fingerling action a little crawling up creepy crawlies on the side right there once you get lean you can really see it and that just adds to the aesthetics which is what we're going for here or what I'm going for I should say that's what that's dumbbell pullovers for also you can see I'm using the 30 pound dumbbell and just a band for extra resistance because I'm not actually strong enough to do the 50 pound dumbbell um, in an efficient way and here's the last exercise that I did this day just some pull-ups try to get a little bit of that lat width this is not the focus of this day not width right but we still want to just stimulate it a little bit as I was saying and you can see there's a little bit of redness in my back because that last these benches you know uh, they don't have the same cushioning effect as the benches at the gym uh, it actually does hurt but you know your boy just gritting and grinding through it okay guys this is the me that you heard the voice in the voiceover just now literally I'm recording this right after I just did that voiceover I just want to talk a little bit about uh, you know the position we find ourselves in you know I think this is maybe week two I think right of of this whole predicament and every place you know has slightly different uh, rules and regulations you know um, the, when I recorded the video right it was still not as strict right we didn't have those it wasn't like stay at home yet so we could still be out and about at the parks I mean we could still be out and about at the parks but certain I know certain places have actually just shut down all their parks and everything like that so you might not even be able to do uh, anything close to what I was doing there but I'm just showing you guys like Basically, I'm going to find a way to uh, just keep in shape, you know, and stay stay active. Because, um, you know, when especially when, like, you know, recently going to the gym has been such a day-to-day -day thing for me. Like, every single day I'm doing it and I was just super motivated and stuff. To suddenly have to stop completely, like, it just really, it makes you feel really, what's the word, like, wiry or something? Like... It's like your mental starts going, you're just like, holy crap, like, you start getting a little, uh, a little crazy upstairs. Not crazy, but you, you know, you guys, you kind of get the feeling of what I'm saying. And then over here, there's some places where they've completely even locked up all the tennis courts. And for the, for me, that's also very day-to-day um, -day thing for me. So it's just, like, if they take all that away, right? If all of that's taken away, you really start getting a little bit, uh, just kind of crazy, like a little bit, uh, on tilt in your in, in your noggin you know so but anyways there's always like something you can do and the idea right now like I said is just that you want to stay stay active right and still keep activating those muscles to make sure that you can keep keep uh, whatever you've gained that's that's my goal anyways like I'm not I don't have this idea that I'm going to build anything really right now but I'm definitely trying to uh, stay active and make sure that I can hold on to as much as possible also let me just throw this out there, guys. I heard this very interesting, interesting concept about, you know, about rep range and weight and things like that. You know, you've always heard, like, people talking about, uh, if you want to get toned and whatever, go for a lighter weight, a little bit higher rep range, right? And if you want to build some mass, you know, lower uh, rep range and just higher weight. Oh, okay. So I heard this interesting concept that was saying basically... Even with the lower rep range, uh, you, I mean, even with the lower weight and a little bit higher rep range, you can still um, pretty much get as much of a stimulation effect as if you were using high, 
high weights. Now think about this. If you're lifting a really heavy weight, right? Like this this weight is too heavy for you. So you have to use maybe, you know, 80 to 100 percent of your muscle fibers to lift that heavy weight. Otherwise you're just not gonna be able to lift it, right? Whereas and so that way you're gonna stimulate all your muscle fibers very quickly, right? Uh, I mean within those first few reps. Whereas if you're doing um, lower weight, right? Like it's not hard to lift lower weight. So you're not gonna use all those muscle fibers, especially on the first couple of reps, right? Because like if you're doing lighter weight, it's like, okay, this is this is a little easy mode. So not all, like maybe like I say like what, 40, 50% of your muscle fibers are being used because it just doesn't need that much to lift it. But that's why you do more reps because after you start doing more and more and more reps, then those first muscle fibers that were being used, they're like, okay, I'm getting tired now. Like I can't do this anymore. And then your body starts trying to use those other muscle fibers that weren't tapped into yet because now you're starting to get tired. So to be able to lift that way, the other muscle fibers have to come in. So now eventually after reps, after higher reps, then you start reaching that, you know, maybe 80 to 100% um, muscle fiber recruitment because once you're tired, you know, then you need all those muscle fibers to lift this lighter weight. So that's the idea that I heard. Sorry if that was a little drawn out, but um, I'm really trying to kind of put that into effect now when I'm doing these workouts because, yeah, the weight is lighter. So I'm kind of going higher rep range and, like, bringing myself closer to, to failure, really, just so I can, like, in, in hopes of activating all my muscles, stimulating all my muscle fibers, and just trying to keep as much as possible, you know, because... Um, for me, you know, the biggest thing right now is like I was doing really well. I was doing really well before this whole thing started, and I just think it's a shame to to lose it, to lose too much. You know, I I don't like. I feel like some of it's going to go away, but I don't want to lose too much. So, just doing my best, guys. I'm gonna keep you updated with the workouts um, that I've been doing. I still have a couple more um, in the bag, <laughs> up my sleeve. So I will be uploading these videos, guys, just to keep. Uh, Keep you updated, you know, show you what's going on until we get through this whole thing. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, I guess I should say, I never say this, but, um, you know, if you could like the video, that'd be awesome. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, whatever. Uh, I don't know why I don't say that. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's weird. All right, anyways, thanks for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!